Hello, everyone. So my name is Will Jones. I am a software engineer at LanceDB. I'm previous, also working on various open source projects, including Apache Arrow and uh, Rust, or Delta Lake Rust. Um, I work uh, with our two founders, Chang Shi and Lei Xu. Uh, Chang is a co-author at Pandas, and uh, Lei is formerly working on data processing at Cruise. Um, so we come a bit from sort of the analytics side, uh, as well as working on sort of uh, large AI models. Um, and I think a big inspiration for uh, the work we do is really thinking about managing data quality. Uh, I'm taking this from some slides presented by uh, Tesla. I'm um, really thinking about, like, I think when a lot of people first get into data, I certainly was like this. A lot of th thoughts when I was in school were about my sort of the models I was working with. Um, and then later, once I was in industry, a lot of the things I left slop, lost sleep over was the data itself, um, the inputs uh, to our models. Um, and being able to maintain this data quality to make sure that our models and that our systems uh, work well means iteration, means continuously updating that data. Uh, that's because we both want these to be sort of online and have up-to-date views of the world, but also because when we notice a problem, uh, we want to be able to uh, address those problems and update our data and retrain our systems. Um, so the question is, do our storage formats that exist right now help us iterate on our training data? Um, can we easily update data? Uh, can we evolve our schemas? Um, can we track the different versions of these uh, data sets? Um, and can we search across our data for similar data points, maybe anomalies, maybe data points that we need more training on? Um, and can we do all this at a reasonable cost and without having to maintain a bunch of complex systems sort of tucked together with glue and duct tape? Um, so this is sort of the questions we think about right now with Lance. Um, and that was sort of our first project that we got into. So what is Lance? Lance is our, uh, first and foremost, it's our file format um, as a replacement for Parquet for unstructured data that allows fast point queries. Um, and it is paired with our table format, Lance Datasets, um, which provides uh, acid transactions and secondary indices on top of this. You can think of this anal as analogous to an iceberg or a delta lake um, designed for AI data lakes. Um, and so uh, as I've been thinking about working through this, I've been thinking about how, how does this fit into a workflow um, with AI. One of the things we sort of start with is like we want to be able to right, work with this data and manipulate it, not only being able to insert and write these data sets, but also delete rows, update rows, merge in streams of data um, as it comes in. We want to be able to feed those into model training. So we're working on, I'm um, currently uh, releasing sort of TensorFlow data loaders that are efficient um, and are able to load data uh, fast so you're not, so not I.O. bound when you're doing these kind of training set, uh, sessions. And then, of course, we also have analytical queries, right? In Lance, you're not just storing you know, some unstructured data. You also have structured data that you want to be able to query over um, and analyze. And then finally, uh, of course, what's really important is being able to do vector search, being able to search over these data sets. And uh, Lance DB is a big part of how we do that and how we make that efficient and interactive over our Lance files. This is, of course, a lot. There's a lot of different aspects that we're doing. But I think the important thing right here is what we're trying to do is make this so you're able to do all of these different workloads within a single format without having to have things replicated across many different uh, data databases. So we're going to open up a little demo. And so there, there's a lot going on um, in that thing, but I think since we have a limited time, I'll be showing you such a very quick example to see how this can fit together, right? Why is it useful to be able to update and version this data and also be able to search over it and do these other things? Um, let's see. Hold on, let's manipulate this a bit. Oh. All right, so we're starting with about 190 megabytes of image data. This is a very small data set, but just for demo purposes. 
Um, and if we examine our sample of this data set, we'll notice that several of the data images are kind of are very blurry. They're not really going to be useful for whatever task we're doing. Um, and so the question is, can we remove these, perhaps, um, by using image embeddings to find these other blurry images? There's probably better ways to find blurry images, but this is sort of a, sort of a simple example. right? There might be other things you might want to search via embeddings. Um, and so uh, as a simple example, I've grabbed some ResNet uh, embedding functions. And so we're able to call that on an example image. So this sample image is one of the blurry images. And so one of the nice things we can do with Lance right, in updating and evolving our schema is we can add in new columns. So we've already written this data set into Lance. right? We just showed a few sample rows out of that. Uh, and now we need to define a function that takes in some input data, including the image column, and adds our embedding column to that. Um, so here's a sample of that embedding column. Um, and now we have this nice API where we just call add columns on our data set, uh, and we're able to insert that column. So now when we do head on our data set, we have the ID column, we have the image column, and we have our embeddings. And so now we can search. We had that sample embedding of a blurry image. We can search and we can see, all right, we're getting, we seem to be capturing these blurry images, so that's good. Um, and so if we take uh, sort of as, obviously, you want to sort of find a better threshold here, but just sort of a simple example, if we take all the ones that are less than 0.15 away, and we can capture those IDs, and now we can delete those from our data set, right? Just doing data set delete with the SQL filter. Um, and that'll let us remove those rows from our data set. And so to recap, right, we had an image data set. We had some problematic rows we wanted to get out. We were able to add an embedding column, use that embedding column to search for those rows we wanted to filter out, letting AI assist us in this sort of discovery of these rows. Uh, and then we were able to delete them. And through that process, we've created three different versions of our data set. Um, CPDD does that version. It's three. Um, but we're still, importantly, able to query those older versions of the data set. So if I display the original data set, we still have that ID column and the image column. Uh, and if we can similarly go to this version 2, right, where we added the embedding column, we now have that there. So all the previous versions of the data set are still available to us. Um, but as we can see at the very end right here, uh, our data set size is still around 214 megabytes. It's that original 190 megabytes of data uh, plus that embedding column that we added. So we, we can still have these multiple versions, keep them queryable and usable uh, without replicating uh, that data and blowing up our data set size. Uh, so that was sort of a quick example of how this might be useful. Um, I am continuously improving sort of the ways you can manipulate and update uh, Lance. And I would, um, I'm actually in the booth over around the corner here. And so one of the things, if you want to come by and chat, I'd love to hear about sort of what are your challenges uh, in maintaining and iterating on data sets um, and ways that Lance could potentially help. Uh, and I'd also mention that we have uh, Lance DB, which is our vector database built upon the Lance format. Um, and that will uh, pretty soon become generally available. It's in private beta right now. And then one final thing, if you're interested in learning more about Lance or just want to sort of chat about embeddings and vector search, our Discord, which is linked at our various GitHub repos, is probably the best place. I personally, as well as our CTO and CEO, are always on there answering questions, uh, chatting about vector search uh, and AI data lakes. Thank you.